probability formulae. In this lesson, we will cover two main probability formulae. The addition formula can often be referred to as the OR rule. The addition formula represented by probability A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus their intersection. We have to subtract their intersection because if we don't do that, the intersection, the overlap is counted twice. If we would have more than one event, A, B, C, D and so on, the formula would apply the same way. It would be all their sums minus their intersection. But we will not cover this here. Multiplication formula. We can start the multiplication formula by writing out the conditional probabilities of event A and event B. Probability of A given that B has already happened is equal to probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. The intersection can also be referred to as the end rule only when the two events are independent. However, the complete correct version of the intersection formula is probability of A given B times probability of B. This is also equal to probability of B given A times probability of A. We can take this further. When events A and B are independent, then the probability of A doesn't depend on probability of B and vice versa. So the probability of A given B is just going to be probability of A. And the probability of B given A is going to be just probability of B because they don't depend on each other. So their intersection is going to be probability of A times probability of B. Let's look at how we can apply the addition formula. A and B are two events. Probability of A is equal to 0.5. Probability of B is equal to 0.6. Their union is 0.9. The question doesn't specify whether the A and B are independent or not. So, to work out their intersection, we have to use the addition formula, which is probability of A plus probability of B minus their overlap. We don't know the overlap, but we know everything else. Replacing the value, we will have 0.9 is equal to 0.5 plus 0.6 minus their intersection. Rearranging this, we will have the probability of A intersection B equals to 1.1 minus 0.9 and that is 0.3. Let's see how we can apply the multiplication formula by looking at another example. E and K are two events such that probability of E is equal to 0.2, probability of K is 0.5 and probability of E given K is 0.3. Part A. Work out their intersection. Writing out the intersection formula, we will have probability of E intersection K is equal to probability of E given K has happened times the probability of K. Replacing the values, we will have 0.15. Probability of K given that E has happened. This is equal to probability of K intersection E divided by probability of E. Substituting the values, we will have our answer, which is 0.75. And finally, their union. The probability of E union K will be equal to their sum minus their intersection. 0.2 plus 0.5 minus 0.15, which we have worked out in part A. And this is equal to 0.55. With questions like this, you can also use the Venn diagram to help you interpret the question.